The motel room is restored to calm. Go is peeling back the paper and chomping down on the milk chocolate. It leaves a mark at the corner of his lips. Uncle Freddy is going to be nice and be your best friend, I tell him. Freddy has his pants on and is buttoning up his shirt. Though reluctant, he cannot now disagree. He speaks of himself in the third person, low, and not without a grumble. Uncle Freddy is real sorry for what he did, and he's going to make it up to you by letting you watch cartoons all day. And he's going to buy you breakfast too, he says, whatever you want. The kid doesn't seem convinced. Freddy snorts and checks himself in the mirror, straightening up. He turns to us and stares for a second, rolling his good eye before speaking. It's okay, yeah. Come here, whip snap. We're going to be just fine. We're going to get the biggest Big Mac you want and some super-sized fries. He sits down on the edge of the bed. Bless pats the boy on the butt to encourage him to go sit next to the scary man. Freddy gives him an awkward sideways hug. Go looks up curiously, then over at me and Bless. He turns back to Freddy and smiles wide. Shows off his gap.